Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this video series on Web Technologies Lab. So today in this video we are going to look at program nine. And under program nine we have four sub programs. So we we'll, we are going to see the first sub program in this video. Okay. So here is the question. And for this program we are going to use PHP. If you want, you can try the same thing with servlets and JSP, but I am going to do or solve this problem using PHP. Okay, now let's see the problem. So they are asking us to create a web application uh, which takes the name of the user as input. Okay, so you are going to enter your name, for example, John. Okay, and once you enter the name, you will submit it, and once you submit, uh, the application should show a hello page where the name is to be displayed okay so you you have entered john now so the page should display hello john okay right and also they are asking something else uh, the application should show the starting time okay uh, at the top right hand side corner of the page so they are giving the position also where you should display okay and after displaying this starting time you have to display a logout button okay like in every website you will have login logout now that kind of thing okay so when you click this logout button the logout page should say thank you so you should simply display a message thank you Along with that, you have to also display the duration of usage. Okay. Okay, and also here they are giving you a hint. You can use session to store name and time. Okay. So we are going to use the concept of sessions. So what is a session? Okay. So you can think of session as some storage area on the server okay remember this session is used to store some data on server side okay it is not going to store any data on client side it is going to store the data on server side it, it is like a kind of memory okay some place where some data is stored on the server that is called a session okay so in the session we are going to store name and time we will see how to do it. Now let's see the program. So here is the index.html web page. So I have created it already. I am not going to explain this. You, you have already seen several examples of creating HTML pages like this. Okay. So I have given some title here, PHP session demo. This is the title of the page. And I have created a form which is displaying a text field. Okay, so the form is displaying a text field. Let me show you the output of this so that you can better understand. So here is the easy PHP dev server. So right click my PHP and open link in new window. Yes, so this is the output of this code. Okay, so it is saying enter your name. This is a text field and you have submit button and clear button. Right, so once I click this submit button, where will the control go? The control will go to hello.php page. Okay. When I click submit button, the control will go to hello.php. Right. So now I have to create hello.php. So new. So in the previous program, we have already seen how to write PHP code now. So you will start PHP code with this and you will end it with question mark right angular bracket. Okay. So now what I am going to do is, uh, along with this, I want to write HTML code. So how do you write HTML and PHP in the same file means? So let me copy this code. And I am pasting it here. Uh, so I am saving this file as hello.php because that is the file we have to create. Okay. So this is the file I have created now, hello.php. Now, uh, 
we don't need this form okay and let's change this title to okay let's leave the title like this php session demo if you want you can change the title right now for using sessions in php you have to write some code so at the top of the page you have to write uh, okay open the php tag and close php and here you have to write something called session underscore start okay so what is this this is a predefined function in php which is going to create a session okay so on the server side in the memory it is going to allocate some space for you to store data right now let's come to the body body of the page and let's create a paragraph and for paragraph i am using the attribute class and the value i am giving is info so don't worry i will tell you why i am giving this class attribute and info as the value in a few minutes but let's proceed okay so inside this paragraph what we will do is uh, let's create php code again here inside this okay closing php right and we need to display time now for that i am creating a variable called dollar time and i am using the predefined function date where i am giving the format of the time that i want to display so capital H is hours, I is minutes, S is seconds. So I will be displaying the time in this format. Okay, right. Now I am printing this. Okay. Mm. Right. Let's display some message. You logged in on this time which is stored in the time variable in the before line you have already created you have already stored the time now current time okay now after displaying this time we have to store this time in session also so there is a global variable in php called session this is a global variable in php predefined global variable which is already there so we will store the data in this session and for storing the data we will store in the form of key value pairs okay key and value so the key i am going to give is login time the time at which i have logged in okay so the value i am going to store is the time dollar time this one okay right fine uh, now let's see the output of this until now it is not completed yet so let's say i am giving john submit so you can see it is displaying the time 8 30 and seconds also but in the program they asked us to display this message in the top right hand corner here okay so how to do that so for that purpose we are going to use css cascading style sheets and that's why I have given this class equal to info here. So I am going to use this in my CSS. So let's write the CSS. So I am going to write that in the head section. Mm, I am going to use embedded CSS style type equal to text slash CSS. Okay. Closing style tag. Embedded CSS is also called as internal CSS. So in between the style tags, I will write my CSS. So how to refer this paragraph? I will refer this paragraph as info. Now in CSS, you have to write dot and the class name. Don't forget the dot, okay? Info, open curly brace and closing curly brace. Here, for displaying on the right hand side, I will simply write text align is right. Okay, now let's see the output. Refresh. Okay, now you got this message on the right hand side, top right corner. Okay, fine. Now, along with this message, they are asking us to display a logout button. Right? 
for that purpose i'm going to write form and i'm going to set action as another php page which is logout dot php okay close the font tag now here to display a button i will write input type equal to submit and value i will write it as logout okay let's write smaller you can write anything okay that's all now let's see the output of this refresh okay you got the message here and you got the button here so you want the you want to display this button here also on the right hand side so what should we do let's use this form in the css just write info comma form okay so for both of them we are aligning it to right hand side that's all uh, refresh okay now you got the button on the right hand side also right okay now this this page is not completed we still have to display the welcome message right they asked us to display something like hello john okay so for that php code closing php mm. here you have to retrieve the name that the user has entered so in this previous program you already have seen how to retrieve the name from another page right we will use the global variable get inside this what value you should write you should write this value whatever you have given here txt name okay and now let's print the hello message print h1 hello whatever value the user has entered is stored in name variable so we are displaying that name there and close the h1 tag close the parenthesis semicolon that's all now let's see this output okay so now let me give another name ramesh submit okay we got an error on line 30 yeah i forgot to give the double quote okay right okay hello ramesh and you got the time and you got the logout button so when i click this logout button it should go to logout.php so let's see because that is what i have given here when i click the button it will go to logout.php now let's create another page so new now here i will only write php code i will not write any html code here in this page it is not required if you want you can write uh, save save it as logout.php okay it is saved now the first thing you have to do is session start Other, otherwise you will not be able to access anything from the session now you have to print the thank you message now so in the problem they have asked us to print thank you okay so let's do that in h1 tags like this okay now we have to retrieve the time we have already stored the time in the session now uh, here we already stored the starting time right so we have to retrieve this you will retrieve this using this name okay let's see how to do it dollar login time equal to here i will use a predefined object in php called date time so i will tell you why i am using this object but we will use it here so inside this we will use the session uh, global variable and inside this we will write login time okay so this is the thing we have used in the previous page to store the starting time right close so now 
the data in the session is being retrieved and stored in this variable. So similarly, we will also store logout time. Okay. So logout time for this also you will write new date time, and here you just simply write the uh, predefined date function with hours, minutes, and seconds. Okay. So that's all, right? Now you got the starting time session starting time and session ending time both of them now you will have to calculate the difference between them so to calculate the difference and to store it i am creating the variable dollar interval okay to store the difference between login time and logout time now let's let's use this first one dollar login time so I I told you that this date time is a predefined object in PHP, right? So in objects we have functions, member functions, right? So using this I can access a predefined function called diff difference. Okay, and whose difference we want this and this? So you will write this here. Okay, so the difference between both of them will be stored in interval. Right now, we need uh, the time spent, which is the difference actually. So for that, I am using the previous variable which I created in the before line interval, and to access uh, another function format, and here we are, we are going to write yes. It is we get, we will get the difference in the form of seconds. Yes means seconds and these seconds will be stored in the variable ts and now we need to finally print it that's all so the time spent is dollar ts okay it is seconds now so we will write seconds okay so that's it and finally you have to write session underscore unset so this is a predefined function in PHP which will uh, remove all the data that is stored in a session and to free the memory which is allocated for the session we will write destroy. That's all. So this is the code of logout.php. Right? So I explained everything in the program. If you still have any doubt you can comment below the video I will respond. So let's see the total output of this program. Mm. Refresh. Let me give the name as John. Submit. Okay. Hello, John. And you got the starting time. And now let's wait for some time here for some seconds. Okay. Right. Now let's click logout. Okay. Call to undefined function. So let's see. Yeah, sorry, not dot. You have to use arrow mark here. So refresh. Yeah, time spent is 32 seconds. Okay, so let me show you again because we got an error. So this time let's give the name Surya. Submit. Okay, hello message starting time again wait for some time some seconds okay click logout right time i have spent is eight seconds okay so that's it for this video uh, please like the video and subscribe to my channel for latest notifications and also if you have any doubts in this program you can comment below the video thank you